special breaking news edition of Seahawks Today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you as Leslie Frazier has been hired by the Seattle Seahawks. The first hiring by new head coach Mike McDonald joining the defensive staff. And I got to tell you, I really like this move by Mike McDonald to bring in Leslie Frazier. We've talked about on the channel over the last couple days that with a young head coach at 36 years old, whether it was offense or defense, either one. It would be a smart idea for Mike McDonald to bring in staffers with head coaching experience that have kind of been there, done that, that could guide him, learn from a bit on what to do and what not to do as a head coach. And that's exactly what hiring Leslie Frazier does. Not only is Leslie Frazier a very good football mind, and brings a lot to the table when it comes to his knowledge of the game and what he's done defensively, most recently as the defensive coordinator for the Buffalo Bills a couple of years ago, and being a head coach of the Minnesota Vikings and all that, he knows football, but he also knows how this thing operates and what it takes to be successful. So I really like the hire of Leslie Frazier, and I want to get your one-word reaction. What is your one-word reaction to the Seahawks hiring Leslie Frazier and bringing him to the Seattle Seahawks team? My one word is great. This is a great move by Seattle to go this route, to bring in a guy like Leslie Frazier here. I have no complaints whatsoever about a move like this. To me, this checks off all the boxes that the Seahawks are looking for. My one word is great. Give me your one word reaction in the comment section and let us know. Folks, this is why you subscribe to Seahawks today. It is my off day. I am at home in Oklahoma visiting my family with an extended weekend, but that doesn't stop breaking news from happening. I was having a nice meal with my folks, had to step outside in the parking lot of this little burger joint and bring you a video here on the channel. Why? Because we're dedicated, because we're built different like no one else is talking about the Seattle Seahawks. We're bringing you daily news and rumors. We're doing live shows, watch parties, Q&A mailbags, the most interactive Seahawks channel you're going to find anywhere out there. For the latest happenings in your favorite team, doesn't matter if we're in studio, if we're on vacation, visiting family, whatnot, we will bring you coverage like no one else does here on Seahawks today. We got you covered each and every day. Subscribe now for free. We just hit 49,000 subscribers. Let's march on towards 50,000. Make it happen here on the channel. Subscribe now. You'll be glad you did. All right. So Leslie Frazier, uh, I got to tell you, the Seahawks defense, what you're going to see from this group, Mike McDonnell, his scheme in Baltimore was a base 3-4 scheme. And Mike McDonald is going to continue doing what he did in Baltimore as the primary play caller. And so for Leslie Frazier's role, it is to kind of oversee things, to be that second eye of sorts. And what we've heard about the comparisons with Mike McDonald is that he is kind of the Sean McVay of defense, right? And you look at what Sean McVay does with the L.A. Rams. Yes, he has an offensive staff and an offensive coordinator and all that. But at the end of the day, Sean McVay still is calling the shots and still gets final say in the offense. That's what you're going to see with uh, the Seattle organization with what they're doing uh, here bringing in Leslie Frazier. Yes, they're going to fill up that defensive staff, and this is a very good hire and all that. But at the end of the day, this is still going to be Mike McDonald's defense. He's still going to have the final say and how the Seahawks operate this defense and what they go about it. So for me, I, I think it's a, a very good fit uh, with Leslie Frazier on that front to kind of be the oversight of some sorts, to be that second witness, if you will, uh, where he can maybe tell Mike McDonald, be like, hey, I don't think this is a great idea or we should do this differently, whatever, kind of bounce ideas off of some sorts that – veteran presence of sorts Leslie Frazier will bring to the table and here's another thing too okay when we've talked about these changes and moving forward with the Seahawks team it wasn't just about moving on from Pete Carroll right it was all right please move on from Shane Waldron please move on from Clint Hurt I will take Leslie Frazier any day and twice on Sunday over Clint Hurt without a doubt that's a major major upgrade for the Seahawks to turn their attention to Leslie Frazier to calling the shots as opposed to Clint Hurt on that front. And you look at this Seahawks defense. We talked about it on the channel a couple days ago. 
This is a team that's got a lot of young talent on that defense. A lot of guys under 30 years old for the likes of Leonard Williams to Reek Woolen to Devin Witherspoon to Jordan Brooks. Uh, the list goes on and on, right? And what you need to see from the next defensive coordinator, from the defensive staff, and led by Mike McDonald, is those guys develop, play to their full potential. That was the thing that was most infuriating about this Seahawks defense in 2023 was you looked across the board, you saw, wow, we spent all that money on Draymond Jones. We've waited all this time to see Jamal Adams hopefully invest and turn into something and just never worked out, right? And that falls on coaching. Coaches still got to coach and develop talent. And that was the issue with Clint Hurt and this defensive staff is these guys weren't playing to their full potential because they weren't being coached up to their full potential. So that's the hope now. You bring in guys like Leslie Frazier is that these guys can play to their full potential and we can see the Seahawks defense flourish. One of the, I would say, misconceptions about this Seahawks defense was the talent last year. And the talent was there. They just weren't coached up and put into the best situations to succeed and play to what they were capable of. We saw, for example, a guy like Boye Mafe have a long streak of, what was it, seven straight games with a sack, which broke a Seahawks record, right? And then things kind of went downhill, and he went MIA for a bit. And to me, that was coaching. They didn't adjust accordingly to put him in that position to succeed. So continuing to develop talent, let these guys do their thing. Coaches got to coach and let take that big step. And you look at Leslie Frazier's track record with the guys that he's worked with from Minnesota to Buffalo and these other places. He has that track record of developing talent to get guys to play to their full potential. And, you know, one thing I point to with Leslie Frazier, think back to this, okay? He had a chance as the interim head coach with the Minnesota Vikings. And you guys know, when you get a chance to be an interim head coach, it's a short leash, right, where you really have to prove yourself and you have to win over that locker room for your chance to win that coaching job. And he did just that. He took advantage of being an interim head coach. And that tells me he convinced and sold that locker room in Minnesota in a very short amount of time. Enough of a turnaround to keep that job. Got to be head coach for a bit. Obviously, things ultimately didn't work out. But to me, that tells me that he can – be convincing that players will buy what he's selling and that's half the battle is the buy-in and Leslie Frazier can do just that folks grade the hire what would you grade the hire for the Seahawks bringing in Leslie Frazier A, B, C, D, or F I, I, I can't hate it at all I don't know what there is not to like about it I'm going with an A personally graded for me in the comment section let us know what you think folks subscribe to Seahawks today even on my off day spending time with the family stepping out at dinner to bring you guys this content because no one else is dedicated like we are. Subscribe now for free, and we'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.